had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Fire at will! Spread out, goddammit! They're coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. These 
shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. yelling at me from the window. Watch Back door! Way. We'll Back cover you! We got you covered! Rock aiming you! Truth idiot. be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside, dead, you none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Boulder. Better than a rat in a trap! You ain't going no- <laughs> Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us home. when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side.
don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of Ella. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. that it was time to cut and run. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was. <laughs> that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake.
you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy, that ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. <laughs>